Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this project share for you guys. Uh, this month's first project for Frank Garcia's design team was themed flowers. And so I created this really pretty album. It's so pretty, you guys. I'm actually like in love with it. I love the way it turned out. Um, I think I could add more to it and just, you know, go on forever. But I took a rice box um, that I didn't want to throw away because I thought it would be a cute little book and added you know all these papers to it and created this super cute album uh i took a 12 by 12 paper from uh it's called magic love collection as you can see and i just added some um distress ink and this stamping in the background i don't know if you guys can see it and some little bit of like inking around i did use some of the cut aparts from the paper collection uh, what did I use? With Love, My Sweet, and Miel. Uh, I was just looking for floral paper is really what I was looking for. Everything that had flowers on it or like solid colors to make it. And then I used these flowers. I um, got them in my design team package for this next term. And they are so pretty. I couldn't find them online. So I don't know if there's a specific... Um, name for it. But it's the flower grab bag. So I don't know if he just has them in store... Or what but definitely um, definitely you want to check that out because they're so pretty you guys I did do some um, wrinkling with some of the paper um, I added some water and just made it soft and added some gesso and some inking around anyways when you open it up I did a quick little tie here with some ribbon or not ribbon fabric but when you open it up um, it opens up this way and so I'm going to show you how I did the pages I saw this on TikTok not the book itself but the pages um, with the someone did it with a 12 by 12 and I've seen different styles of it but not like this just kind of similar um, with some happy mail so I thought it'd be cute but I did um, do what I did with the box so that it it kind of opens closes like closes nicely is I cut the paper down and left a little bit of space on both sides. Same as over here. I didn't go all the way across because that tends to make your book stiff and I didn't want that. I wanted it to open up nicely. And then all the pockets um, on the paper, I love it, or the pages, and they have pockets on the inside as well, as you can see, which I love. And I did a lot of stitching on this one. These are so pretty. I love these. These are Tim Holtz um, ephemera pieces. Yeah, I had to, in my stash with the flowers and I had to use them. And then this one, I added some lace on one of the cut aparts. I just love it. And these pockets have cute little um, or little spaces there. Just love it. And then I put some there. And again, this one, I made it simple. I just did a cut apart. Here's another one with the cut aparts and then this stitching I added a um, heart brad or not brad eyelet there with some more fabric and I just love the pockets it's so pretty and then I did some let me move that out of the way there I did um, paper piecing there and then I did use Erica's um, stamp the heart stamp that she just put out last month I love it and then I did some cut apart and stitching. And then here I created just a little pocket. I did some uh, border punch and created the little pocket. And here you can see more stamping. I also, um, I love using this stamp set and I, or stamp. And so I put it there and there's another spot down here. You just can't see it. And then over here, love, love, love how it turned out. Now for this, you'll need, um, you'll have to gauge the boxes because some rice boxes and macaroni boxes are a little bit larger. And so you'll have to gauge the um, envelope and what size. So this, I just got lucky that the rice box fit perfectly with the um, pages. So what you'll need is a 12 by 12, not 12 by 12. This one's for an 8 by 8 for that rice box. But you could also do a 12 by 12 and cut down your, um, your cereal box a little bit or create the album cover by itself so that your pages fit in here but I'm going to show you how I did the page so you take a this is eight by eight sheet and you know you decide which one you want to put on there I think for me because of the the way the hot air balloons are looking I'm going to do the um, polka dot 
so you, I already started folding it sorry so you're gonna fold it in half like this and you want to make sure that you're doing a really good job with the fold that it matches up okay then you're going to um, sorry you're gonna take your ruler and you're going to find your middle spot there so it's about here so that's why I drew a little dot there okay then you're going to flip it over and you're going to take your edges and you're going to bring them to point to meet the point to meet that center and then you're just going to fold it real good and then you're going to do the same thing and fold it okay so now you have this envelope looking okay the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this part here and you're going to fold it down like this so that your points are meeting and you're just going to kind of do a little ah, fold like that okay then you're going to open it up and you're going to glue this down so you're going to glue it down or you could trim it off if you want it's up to you i leave it i don't know why i just do um and i add glue what do i do with my glue so you're just going to glue it down okay So we're gonna glue that one down. Oh, I guess I should do this one too, huh? Eee. Okay, you could even use um, a glue stick if you wanted to. Eee. Okay, so now that you have that done, now you're going to do that. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stitch all the way across here, okay? Okay, so now that I, you see how I've sewed it there, so it's going to depend on if you want to do it this side or if you want to do it this side, it's whatever. Okay, the next thing I did was I took a piece of white paper and I kind of did like a measurement, although I left mine a little bit longer just because um, I needed it to fit inside my um, sentient machine. So I take and I measure the little template. So I created a little template. And then I'm going to, when I stick it inside the sentient machine, that's where I'm going to gauge which holes to push in to, you know, push down and pop my holes. And this creates my template. So now I know where I need to lay it down. So let me grab my machine so I can show you guys. Let me clear out my table. Okay, now that I have the machine here, you guys can see I have it, you know, just regular, nothing actually have the holes punched in already. So what I was saying is you're gonna get your paper and you're gonna kind of line it up to see where your center is at. Now, since I know the center is there, I created this crease here to make the center of my page there. So I know it's there. So this washi tape that I have here, let me just peel it back because I don't wanna get any roll. Anyways, what I did was create the template and I taped it down. So now I know to slide my sheet in all the way down and there I know that when I punch the holes it's going there's my center and that's where my three holes are at so I'm going to and there's my holes you guys see that and now I can just make the rest of my pages. And here's the little pocket that I have. And I can put, you know, where's the... I can put, um, tuck something in here. I can tuck something in here. Or I can tuck something at the top here or here. And then you have your pocket as well here like this. You can see that. And then over here, you could just do whatever you want. The other thing that I also do, let me move this out of the way. is that I take my own folder and I rub down um, so that my stitching is kind of down like that. Okay, I think my sewing machine is really it's biting the dust, you guys. Look at that. Horrible stitching. <laughs> the front looks okay, but the back looks so bad. Ugh. I think I need to save money for that next. Okay, so that's how I did that. Now your album is going to be the same thing. You're going before you do it. You know the once you're done decor. I do once I'm done decorating. Then I go in. Same thing as my you know.
paper here and I put it in and then do it. Okay, so I know I was explaining how to put the book together and I just wanted to actually do like a full walkthrough of how I did it. So here's the cover and for your cover, I'm just keeping all these little small boxes like the Girl Scout cookies, uh, soap box, shampoo box, butter box. Uh, I just keep random little ones that I like. This is a macaroni and cheese one. I cut it down to fit the size of my papers here as you can see uh, there is a little wiggle room there so that's why I ended up deciding to put that little strip and I'm gonna go in with some white gesso or even white acrylic paint if you don't have white gesso to cover up the inside I'm also thinking because I found this ink I was looking for pink ones because I don't have a lot of oxide inks well, I do have a lot, but uh, you know how it is. Anyways, I found this saltwater taffy, and so I'm going to do some inking around um, before I do the, or after I do the binding, because uh, it's not a big deal with what I want to do with the inking, so it'll be fine to have it put together. But I just cut my pieces down and then glued them. And on this one, I actually overlapped it just a little bit to cover um, for the cover. And then I used the, some of the same. And then back here, I decided to fold the paper in just half. And because it's not that wide, the eight and a half, um, the eight by eight actually worked perfectly to fit over. So that's my cover. Now my pages, I am going to line them up how I want. So I think I'm going to do it, you know, like this. And then we'll do that one there. Kind of mix around my patterns a little bit and that's how I'm going to do it so that'll be my book and then I'm going to obviously create the hole there so now that I have my cinch machine here I'm going to again line up my cover because I know that this is going to be the front and I want my holes there and I'm going to align it with my template. Now it should be a little bit bigger or my album might be just a smidge bigger. So I'm going to try my best to, you know, line it up so that my pages there and make sure sometimes I have to like peek under there. So I'm going to like look here and make sure that I'm like evenly like I don't want to be too much on this side. But I think that's good, about good there. Now I'm going to punch my holes. And there's my book. So now I know that it'll lay like this there. And there's my album. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do the binding for this. Orange color because of the book it's called peach what is it peach tea is the so I know that I need three let me grab my pliers here so I know I need three so I'm gonna cut one two three here like this right well right down the middle so I'm gonna lay that down here it doesn't sit that well but you get the gist now I'm gonna do one, two, three, so it's gonna be over here like this. Okay. So you're gonna take your pieces and you're gonna set them down Oop. here, hook it there, and you'll hook your next one here. And then you're gonna take your last page and you're going to put it down here. And then you're gonna go, I mean, yeah, you're going to go and set them all in there nicely. Okay. And then you're going to take your cover. Now, if because this is all one piece, I only have to put this side. I'm going to put my back cover facing um, out. So the back side faces the inside of the book because you're going to flip it around. Um, let me show you. So as you can see here, if I, when I put the sheets down, my front page, and then I put the back cover, and then this is the inside, 
when you bind it, you're gonna flip it all the way around and then it goes like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we have that, then we're gonna ooh, make sure these are about the same right there. And you're gonna turn your machine around. Let me do this without messing this up. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that there. Okay, so now also make sure that the top of here will, when you press it down, it's for the correct size of the wire because you have like a one inch wire or three um, fourths wire. Mine is the five eight. Um, and then you're going to take the bottom part and you're going to sit it up against the wall and kind of lean it forward so that it's like touching it like this. Do you see that? So this part and the top part are facing the wall and touching it. So it'll get bent evenly that way. So then you just press your machine down and it presses the cinch together. Now I like to do a little extra squeeze with my hands just to kind of make sure it won't come undone there. Might be too much, but now you're going to take your pages and you're gonna flip them around like this. As you can see, they lay nicely. And then your, your album's gonna close. Let me move this out of the way. Right, so we were like this, and then we're gonna flip it around. So you wanna make sure your pages are hooked there, and you're gonna do that. And now you have your front, and there you go. And that's your book. I hope that helps. The other thing I wanted to share too is, um, I made this page, where is it at? It's the back one. Um, and I forgot to do this one. So what I did is I took a the same size of paper and I'm going to fold it the way I did the other way or for the other ones. But when I fold it down to glue it, I'm going to do something a little different with it. Let me show you guys. So I need to... What up? The other a cheat on this one because I'm just gonna make a little fold there. So I know that's my center. So I'm gonna bring my corner in like I showed, and I'm gonna do this right. And then the next one, and I'm going to bring it to the corner there. So they both meet. And then I'm going to take this one and fold it in make sure the corners meet there okay and then try to make it as stiff as possible okay now when I open it up instead of doing this and going like this I'm going to do this I'm going to take my ends and I'm gonna fold them this way okay and I'm gonna fold this one this way okay now I'm still gonna glue these down because I'm gonna close it up. Ooh. I'm gonna close it in like this. Make sure those are in. And then I'm gonna fold it back on itself. And here I created that pocket and I created this pocket, okay? Now I'm gonna take the sewing machine or take it to the sewing machine and stitch there and stitch there. And now I have double-sided pockets and I could do it like this actually because and they can it would have been another page to add there so I hope this helps and it you guys try this out um, if you want to add ribbon to this you could do it before um, you glue down I'm gonna put my ribbon on the outside like I did this one so once I start working on my cover, I'll lay my ribbon down and then decorate on top of it. So then that way my ribbon is out here like this and I can, you know, bring it around and t do a little simple, um, not like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick make and doesn't take too long to put together. I think what takes time is the decorating. Anyways, if you like any of these collections, go over to frankgarciastudios.com and check out what he has available. He still has a lot of um, his older collections, so definitely play with those. My code pink 10 for 10% off. And definitely come back for some more um, videos that I'll be sharing soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.